So, does a married narcissist ever leave his wife? Well, he says he will, but it seems to drag on and on. This is Ari Ballard, and I'm going to tell you what I think about that. And I bet I'm right. Hang on. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zari and this is the When Love is a Lie audio podcast. Before we get started, please do hit the subscribe and if you haven't already and if you like the video, make sure you slam that like button. Today's topic, does a married narcissist ever leave his wife? That's what we're going to talk about today. I get asked it all of the time. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. Married narcissists, out of all of the narcissistic predators, and I know you know this, cause the most angst to partners simply because they are more polished in the art of manipulation. Now, you'd think that a married narc would be more subdued in his pursuit of a secondary source, a supply, but he's not. He is gung-ho for the chase and will give his all during the love bombing stage as if the fact that he's married is nothing more than a minor detail. The pursuit process and the affair itself share no similarities to say how a normal, quote-unquote normal, married guy might go about it as he stumbles upon someone that he finds attractive. No, the process is completely different. And it is this difference that sets the stage for the inevitable confusion and anxiety that befalls a target when the narcissist never gets around to leaving his wife. So are there times when a narc will actually leave the wife and family to make good on a long-term affair? Yeah, maybe. But it's very, very rare. The occurrence is very, very rare. And it typically only happens when the wife calls him out and calls it quits. As long as the wife puts up with cheating or chooses to take him back, believing that the affair is over, which it never is, as you know, the narc will stay married until the end of time. The girlfriend of a married narc will hear a myriad of excuses for why he hasn't gone through with a divorce, all based around plausible deniability. I would say my guesstimate is that in 95% of the cases, The divorce was never started, but the narc can keep an affair dragging on for years and years simply by saying that it has and giving periodic bogus updates. I hear this all the time. So many women that I speak with have been fed ridiculous excuses for eons, and it isn't until they relay each one to me in a consultation and I pick it apart that they begin to see the light, and I'm always picking it apart. I've come to the conclusion that a married narc is one of the most ferociously convincing deceivers on the planet. Now, you know, in an, in a in the next video, I think I'm going to be talking about the emotional fallout of loving a married narc. But for now, and that'll be like part two. But for now, I, I simply want to stress one all important point. The married narc does not intend to ever leave his wife and family unless the time comes that he is literally kicked out the front door. If that doesn't happen, it's just not going to happen. And make no mistake, it's not because he loves and adores his wife and children. He's not going to leave his wife simply because he does not and has never felt that it was necessary. Where a quote-unquote normal guy who has a long-term affair, knows in his heart of hearts that he is doing something bad and must make a decision, a narcissist (laughs) sees neither of those as applicable to his situation, meaning he just doesn't, uh, doesn't have to make a decision. And he also doesn't see that he's doing something bad. And if he does, he doesn't care. Okay, they know right from wrong. They just don't give a shit. A married narc will say whatever his wife and lover needs to hear in order to keep his charade going and then be damn proud when he got, when he gets away with it, because it's all about that. It's all about that. It's about everything that he can get away with every day, all day. How does he do it? Compartmentalization, the longest word in the world, is the key to how a married narc handles his situation. 
certainly all narcissists compartmentalize. But the married narc is the kingpin master of how it's done. To his lover, just as he did during the pursuit, the love bombing stage, the narc can make it appear that his married life is so far down on his totem pole that he can come and go as he pleases without question. If he feels pressure from the mistress, he simply books a luxury vacation somewhere tropical and off they go. The mistress, seeing that the narcissist is stress-free during this trip, is all the more convinced that the marriage is on its last legs or possibly even over. The truth is that she is living in a compartment, custom-tailored to meet the narc's extra marital needs. The wife is simply home in her compartment, thinking her husband is away on business or away with friends. She, like the mistress, chooses to believe the lie, and the married narc gets the best of both worlds. A narc, married or not, is a compartment manager. Not an apartment manager, but a compartment manager. He just goes in and out of compartments. That's how they do it. And they can go from one compartment to the next compartment without even looking the least bit stressed. And that's why it appears to the person who's having the affair with the narc, even years after it's begun, that either the divorce is almost over or, you know, it's just a, a bunch of lies. None of it's true. And I'll get back. I'll get to that in a minute. Like all narcs, a married narc is not plagued by guilt, remorse, and anxiety when he or she does something wrong. A married narc does not consider the feelings of the spouse or lover when he subjects them to lies and shenanigans unless he feels he might get caught. If you are listening to this and you're a long-term lover of a married narc, you need to realize that he's been caught and forgiven a hundred times over throughout the affair by his suspicious wife. No matter what he tells you, his wife does not hate him or cheat on him, and she's not a psycho. She does not ignore or neglect him or feel indifferent to the fact that his behaviors are suspicious and that he could possibly have a girlfriend. And most important of all, she does not sleep in a separate bedroom and yes, he even has sex with her if he feels he needs to, and maybe even because he likes it. Just because he's texting you at midnight does not mean he has his own room. And, and that means just because he's texting, I should say, just because he's texting you 24 hours a day and at midnight does not mean he has his own room in the same way that his wife receiving texts and more likely phone calls on the weekends he's with you does not mean that he's really away on business. Listen, a married narc, when he needs to, will always find a way to make both sides happy so that he can continue his charade. This is part of the thrill of the game. Why on earth would he ever give it up? For all narcs, let alone a married narc, life isn't, now listen to this, life isn't half as much fun if there's no one's back behind which to do evil things, okay? So many women, and it's funny too because I speak with a lot, if, if you're out there and you're listening to this and you're involved with the married narc, don't feel alone because I hear from, peop, from women all the time they're involved with married narcs and sometimes they're even married. A narc who's married has got it going on. I mean, he has figured out how to perpetuate a lie and to keep you in this weird state of thinking that the divorce is almost over or that he's he's uh, staying married because of the money, because of the kids, um, because she's got something over on him, got something over his head, because of the family. None of it's true. He's staying married because he wants to stay married. Because it's it just wouldn't be as much fun, in narc-style fun, if, if he gets divorced. And sometimes the married narc is also involved in whatever he's got going on with his wife, okay? 
Sometimes that is a whole another talk about a compartment. It's huge. They've got friends, they've got family, they've got kids, they've got functions, they've got events, they've got things they have to do as a family, or he has a job where it just fits that he has a normal life. Or maybe they have a lifestyle, something that they all do together, and she fits that lifestyle. Why Why is he going to leave that? Okay? And, you know, of course, you know, there's been times I've heard that that he has left, but it's always because they, he's gotten caught. And if they get caught, the first person, if, and if there's a chance that the wife is going to uh, keep him, if he promises not to do it again or whatever, he's going to throw you under the bus. Okay? He's going to do it. I'm not saying he'll never come back around. He'll never hoover. It depends. Because he's going to go where he needs to go. And that's when you're going to know that it doesn't even matter. I mean, married, a narc will get, and people ask me, why, why do they get married? Because why not? It's a party. It's all about them. It doesn't mean anything to them until they feel threatened or the wife calling it off or getting a divorce is going to be inconvenient. And any divorce, it doesn't matter if you're a narc or not is inconvenient. It causes inconvenient in, inconvenience in the moment. Narcs don't like inconvenience. So they're not going to do what's inconvenient. So if you and the narc, the married narc, are together for years, most people call me when they've been together for years, and it comes down to you or the wife, what's, what's more inconvenient? Getting a divorce? Okay? He's, it, of course it is. So he's not going to do that. He's not going to get a divorce. He's going to do whatever he has to. He's going to say whatever he has to, to not get a divorce. It's not, it's not like a normal guy, like where a normal guy might run into, uh, you know, somebody he's suddenly attracted to. And then there's a whole big, you know, you know, fighting with his feelings and wrestling with his emotions and feeling guilty and all that. That just does not happen. Okay. And you were targeted, likely. Okay, he saw you, maybe you work together. A lot of times it's because you work with the narc, the married narc, and that's how you guys get together. And then it just continues on. And sure, he'll take you on vacations if he's got money. He's a five-star deception, and I've got a video on that. All I'm saying is, unless he gets caught and he's forced to, he's not going to get a divorce. So just know that, okay? And if you can't figure it out, call me. Okay, you can, there's a link in the description. Call me for a consultation. We'll talk about it. And I'll get you through it. I mean, it has to play itself out. Because, and it's not because he loves her more or because she's prettier than you or anything like that. It's nothing to do with that. And I'll, I can explain all that to you. And I know that's always in, it's always in the head. And you're going to, you know, you've just got to, there's so many aspects to it, not following it on social media. A lot of married narcs will play up the family social media thing, and it's just devastating to the target. We can get past all that. You don't need to be somebody's, a married narc's, you know, secondary source. You don't have to do it. You deserve more than that. Okay? So if you need me, call me, and we'll work it out. Okay, so thank you. It was just a quick video today. I appreciate you coming back to my channel and listening to my podcast. My books are available on Amazon and on Barnes and Nobles and through Smashwords. I have also When Love is a Lie is on Audible. You can read all my articles. I've got over 90 articles at thenarcissisticpersonality.com. And I'll be back with another video soon. This is Ari Ballard, and this is the When Love is a Lie audio podcast. Have a great day.